All right, um, this is the Folsom Bridge with a whole lot of cool scenery behind it. Over here is cool scenery too. And I had a couple things. Uh, I had a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, one, I was thinking about maybe reading like an old novel, just kind of sitting with some nice scenery like this, and just letting that show real chill, and just reading a novel slowly. I don't know if people would like that. Also, um, people are starting to edit. People are starting to edit books, like old books, so they'll change like bad words that they might have put in the novel to something more politically correct, but it takes away from what it was. I mean, what it was was so bad, and you learn from that versus just taking it out to make it easier for people. I can't really say too much more about that. Just don't edit old novels. It's just, it's, because it's, it's just like, uh, what's that word? Uh, not dysentery, uh, dystopian. Yeah, like it's dystopian, like the Hunger Games or whatever. They're just gonna change books to make it easier for people, and that's not a good idea. What else? Differences and acknowledgements. I will go to nice neighborhoods, and everyone will be like, Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! And it's just like, Good morning, park. So then I'll go to a bad neighborhood, and mostly because of this, because people, you know, half the people get it. You know, I'll get like a head nod, and that's cool. Head nod is cool. It's like kind of like, hey, dude, you know, just, you know, we're cool. You know, I don't know, like, it's hard to explain what that is. You go downtown, nobody really says shit. But then you think in a place like New York or like LA, I don't think people say good morning a lot or hey, what's up? There's not a lot of small talk in cities, I don't think, unless it's bitching about stuff. And then there's the people where you're in kind of a decent neighborhood and half the people say good morning, and the other half don't, but you'll say good morning to them and they'll walk by like they didn't hear shit and fuck those people. And I'll say it louder, good morning! <laughs> and they still don't wanna answer, so I'm like, well, fuck you then. And then they turn around and then they walk away. It sucks that all this had to happen, but dude, just be a little courteous. You know, just be like, hey, you know, that's it. But, I mean, I get it. Nobody has to acknowledge anybody, but it's just a cool thing to do. Which brings me to my next thing. My next thing would be keeping a clean home. Every Sunday, I get down on my hands and knees and wipe down all the floors really good with like wood cleaner. And I wipe down all the kitchen, even a lot of the oven, the counters in the corners, the fridge. And I go in the bathroom, make sure that's all cool, the bedrooms. And I make the couch, the, just, just everything's nice and clean, nice and clean. And I make my bed. So when I go back to the bed at night, it's nice and done. And when I see it all day, I'm like, oh, that's a nice clean bed. And I look at the couch, oh, those pillows are supposed to be there. That's nice and clean, just everything's clean. Where you could walk around the floor barefoot and then like your feet are still clean when you're done with it. Because I don't like taking shoes off at the door. I'd rather just wear the shoes and have everyone wear the shoes and then just clean the floor every week. That's just how I like to do it. And the Swiffer Sweepers, they just don't really do the job. They do like half of the job. But yeah, keeping a clean home is important like when you wake up and you see it and it's clean then you feel better in the morning you feel more prepared for the rest of the day i mean you just do and it feels so good just to wake up and just do the thing you were going to do without seeing a big pile of dishes or without seeing a gross bathroom that you sit in before you start the day i actually have been waking up quite quite good i'll wake up do a ice cold we'll do do like the morning prayer just real quick then i'll do like some light weight lifting and exercising for like five minutes get up make breakfast start the day you know that's the way to start today oh yeah and just make sure the bed is made also i like to keep a nice clean house i think it's important you know in rwanda 
they have a day every month where each community cleans their own community. You know? Over here, we have like street sweepers, we have laws for, little, for, for littering. And, you know, cops aren't gonna pull you over for littering for the most part, but it's just kinda, it's like an unknown, you know, it's like a social rule, don't throw your shit everywhere. Now, I will litter, but only in good neighborhoods. In bad neighborhoods, uh, I'm not littering shit. But if it's a good suburban neighborhood with a bunch of rich people, I am throwing McDonald's bags out of that motherfucker. I am just dropping cups on the ground. I put it on the ground with all that. Um, and I think that's a good way to end this.